Let's now explore how to integrate Kian's IV3 with an Allen Bradley PLC. First off, we need to set the sensor into program mode. Now in program mode, navigate to and select the advanced settings option. Within the tabs, choose utility to access the communication protocol selection. Click on settings and a pop-up window will appear presenting a few options. Expand the protocol selection and choose Ethernet IPTM. Select OK and then confirm by clicking OK on the confirmation box to save the settings. IV Navigator will close momentarily and then automatically reconnect. Let's go ahead and minimize IV Navigator. Next, we'll proceed to add the module in Studio 5000. Let's begin by going over to Ethernet, right-clicking and selecting New Module. After the Select Module type is populated, type Generic into the search bar. Select the Generic Ethernet module and click on Create. The window for the new module will appear. You'll be required to assign a name and IP address, as well as configure the appropriate COM format and connection parameters. For the COM format, select the Data Int option. Specify the IP address of the vision sensor in its respective field. Having configured the COM format as Int, Proceed to set the connection parameters with these specified values. Input instance 100 and size 196. Output instance 101 and size 8. Configuration instance 1 and size 0. After finishing configuring the connection parameters, select OK to create the module. We will proceed and download to the controller and perform testing between Studio 5000 and Kiens IV3. Navigate to the communications menu and choose Who Active. After it loads, select the PLC with which you'll be establishing communication, set the project path, and download. Our download process is complete, and we are now online. To make it easier to identify the tags, we will import Kiens tag comments. Within the import options, choose the folder from which you intend to import the comments. We have a program with the IV3 already integrated. Let's explore a few of its functions. Let's briefly review the rungs that are part of this routine. Rung 1 contains conditions to determine if the sensor is in a ready state. In rungs 2 and 3, these are conditions set to send the trigger request. Rungs 4 and 5 contain the conditions to initiate a program switch request. In the final rung, we capture the results and display them as either pass or fail. We'll now open IV Navigator and position it side by side with Studio 5000 to observe how they interchange data. We'll head over to Toggle Bit 1 and make the condition true to send a trigger request. When Toggle Bit 1 goes high each time, the number of triggers increases accordingly. Additionally, you can observe the values changing. Now, let's take a look at how program switching operates on the sensor. 
we'll input a different program number and turn on toggle bit 2 to send the program switch request. There's no inspection on program 2, but we know the program changed since it's now showing prog002. We can return back to toggle bit 1 and toggle it to observe its behavior. After the trigger, we can see that there's neither a pass nor a fail due to the absence of available inspection. Let's go back and send a program change request once more. Once more, we will return and trigger the vision sensor a couple more times.